We thought we knew what we were getting ourselves into. Half a mile down a dirt road. He said bring the cash. And he'll fill our van. Well, the van's empty. Let's fill it. We had an intro filmed and everything. Well, a friend of this guy reached out to me on Instagram. He used to own a store. We drove two and a half hours to Ron's house speculating what he had, because we really had no idea. He, he wouldn't tell us. We've been driving for two and a half hours talking about how we know absolutely nothing still. <laughs> All we know is that there's some game systems and there's some games. And what he finally showed us changed everything and was something we could not have planned for. You ever see the show American Pickers? Oh yeah. Imagine yeah. imagine that. That's kind of what we do. Oh, okay. Them guys, I was doing that shit before they were <laughs> Before born. they were born. Before they were born. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you want to do it. Are you going to write stuff down? Are you just going to add it to your head as you go or what? You want to take it bundle by bundle? Whatever is easy for you. I don't care. Okay. I got everything in boxes. so I had like 7,000 games. I was so you still own a hobby shop, game yeah, shop? Rich or? Richmond, yeah. But I had okay. everything. Stamps, coins, baseball cards, comic books, trains, oh, okay. bottles. That's awesome. Yeah. The store was like 3,000 square feet. Oh, wow. And packed. <laughs> that was one of the biggest uh, used games guys in Michigan. GameStop used to send them all to me okay. to buy games. <laughs> box by box. We just... This guy, Ron, had everything boxed up for us, but there were so many boxes, we had no way of knowing what was inside. We might have to move stuff around. And... Yeah. So how long was... Uh... Or did you do your shop stuff for when that started? I was doing, I was doing games when Nintendo just, you know, early stuff. Yeah. I was doing, uh, what's the other one, Activision? Atari. Atari. Yeah. I had 700 games. Guy come in one day and says, I got 400 games at home. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And he brought them in. He brought them in. Said, oh, okay. <laughs> and he may have been 80, but he was super fun, spunky, and definitely knew his stuff. The first boxes may have been a bit underwhelming. The next ones really started getting good, and he mentioned that he only kept the higher end stuff. I traded the guy all the cheap, all the Oh, okay. Stuff. The film Most stuff. of the comet stuff. Yeah. Okay. You gotta go underneath. Keep going. <laughs> so I started getting nosy and I walked over to some of the various boxes and sweet mercy he wasn't lying. Various systems. Oh, they don't look too much, but hey, it's all it all adds up. There were boxes of NES games just laying on the floor. <laughs> and things started looking up when he showed us a bunch of complete and box handheld systems, and a bunch of them seemed basically untouched. One. And with brand new oh, DS has yeah. never even been used. Game Boys, some Atari. I got a ton of uh, Game Boys and DSs. Yeah. So now, would you just buy stuff from people, or would you ever like buy like wholesale? Okay. I bought everything. Nothing ever left the store. <laughs> I bought it all. <laughs> Give them an offer they can't refuse. Little one. Yep, it's got the screen on it. Yeah. That's cool. Oh my goodness. There's a something in there. Really? That's mm -hmm. a rental case. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I've never cool. seen that. I, like Here, Blockbuster. This is, and... this is uh. There are all the good games, all the Zeldas, everything in there. I think. Pokemon Stadium 2. Zelda. Yeah. Donkey Kong. Right. <laughs> I kept all the good stuff. Are these boxes yeah. something unrelated? Those are all going. The, okay. The, these are all complete systems. And then from there, we started pulling out system after system. A ton of things complete in their boxes. N64, PS2, GameCube, so many things. Systems in there. Okay. I think there's a brand new one in one of these. Brand new Nintendo 64. I don't know if it's that one or this one. So it's like open, but the contents are yeah, untouched. So this one, supposedly fairly untouched inside, and I would say that is accurate. I see those boxes over there say regular Nintendo. That's are those, all gone. Those are all... You're not done. Okay. All right. Hey, that's you'll, great. You'll keep us busy. I wouldn't have called you out if I didn't have a phone. <laughs> so I decided to sneak away and get a better look at some of the retro games. I tried getting Chase's attention, but there was just too much going on. I didn't really notice because I was just caught up in all the stuff. While digging through everything, we learned a ton about his business, his hobbies, and of course, the games. This is all... Yeah, all I'll the, just... All the little... You know, the... Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's all... All the games. Yeah. yeah. You know. Pokemon, Mario. Yeah, I, well, I had, I was selling that Pokemon stuff, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. See, I do fairs, I did fairs. 
comes and goes all the time. Hot. Exactly. You know? Buy when it's not, sell when it's hot. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. A couple manuals. We're not talking just crap most stankers. We got some good stuff. Saturn, yeah. Sega CD. Two. Game Gear. <laughs> okay. Game Gear. We've got cool. a few of those around. Atari NES cleaning kit. Light Boy. What the heck is that? There was so much to take in. It was really difficult to continue looking through everything else. Yeah, like we found two boxes full of super nice PS1 games and we hardly had time to look through it all. <laughs> Keep going, you ain't done. <laughs> Get going. <laughs> Keep looking. <laughs> well, I'm like, shoot, there's there really is just more and more, so. Oh no, it's uh, growing. <laughs> it has babies. <laughs> babies. Yeah. You know, sometimes when people say they have a lot, well, and this I is what they mean. One huh? box of this. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> no, I know you waste you your time. You never know what you're walking into. But. No. Uh, I, you know, I had the Final Fantasies and all that stuff in here. Most of these. Yeah, these are all the. Good. Got I a bunch of Final Fantasies over here. Right. All, all right. Aisle 24. All the Mario stuff and. Yeah. Guys yeah. get caught by the Pokemons. Little action replay. Oh, that was just. Just kind of mm -hmm. buried. And from there, boxes just got better and better. That's well, good. some you know some people oh, they'll have just a good one. Here yeah, we go. Look at that. Here yeah. we go. I used to have doubles, yeah. but in a store, it's now we're talking Pikmin and all the Metroids. Yeah, I had to call the guy here from GameStop. I said, "Well, I'll buy those two games." Like you can't yeah. buy it all. You don't yeah. buy anything. Yeah, there's all this Pokemon Coliseum, Mario parties. Yeah, you got it all. If it was bad, I usually try to get rid of it. Might be a couple here and there that... Yeah, right. And now for another segment of Skylum making bad jokes that go over people's heads. All right, next on is... Earth, we got Freddie Mercury here. Oh, here's this nice... Breath, Breath of Fire. Of fire. Nice. Huh. Yeah, we are not talking filler. We're talking... Nice stuff. There's more? There's more. Oh, Secret yeah, of Evermore, two of them. Doom. <laughs> Secret <Kombat>. of Mana. <laughs> Just huh. craziness. There you go. Good night. It's cool. You got a hold of the right guys, because this is all our our kind of stuff. Rockin' cats. That's kind of a unique one. Rocking cats. It was yeah. really nice just talking with someone who had been doing this for 50 years and just understands business. He knew how much work that all of this was going to take to go through, and he really wanted us to make money. You can buy another deal like this. Yeah. You know, they're out there probably, but that, not I have a store made. No, there. you don't. Yeah. You don't see this. You know, what's oh, going here? Place yeah. every day. The games are all in those boxes. The only empty two boxes are here. Okay. Yeah, I saw that Rocketeer and something deal, else. Secret of Evermore. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Let me stop. Shoe range. Kind of a rare game. Funny enough, it's just a racing game, but... Pro-Am 2. It's just, they didn't make many of them, so... More. Good. More. Fourth Super Nintendo box. It's a bunch Donkey of Mario Kong, cards. Mario, yep. Tons of Mario. Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mario's are always going to run you, out you, for a week. <laughs> you yeah. knew what sold. Did you kind of have a number that you were... Ten grand. I mean, mm -hmm. I want you to make money. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, I found these downstairs. I don't know why they were down there. <laughs> Original unopened packs. That's cool. <laughs> Just they were in, in this box. Did you find them in this box? <laughs> downstairs. What the f*** is in here? <laughs> I'd be interested in those too, but what a minute. <laughs> right. So Ron went inside and we were finally able to digest everything a little bit and take a deeper look around at what exactly we had. This was a lot more than we bargained for. He named the price of $10,000. Yeah, so at that point, I started getting a little bit nervous. But if you remember, when we went to the credit union, we got out $5,000. Only 5000 so... Which I thought would be more than enough. Yeah, we, we really didn't know what we were going to be walking to. When somebody says that they have, they can fill your van with games, you think that it's going to be filler and garbage. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. Just look around here. This is... It's like all of these boxes are full of games. And we're not talking like crap most stankers. We're talking every single one of these is first party Nintendo. Like Banjo. Mario Golf, Pokemon Stadium 2, Yoshi's Story, Mario Kart, Mario 64, and this is just one of many that are all like that. You got literally dozens of boxes of heavy hitters. So, so <laughs> where speechless. do you even begin? I don't even know what to say. Here's Expected. what I am going to say. We're going to make this happen. 
Yes. We're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> so obviously, we really wanted to make this happen. I've been doing this long enough to know that when a big deal is there, you need to secure it, especially since we drove two and a half hours. Thankfully, I had a little bit of money in my wallet too, so whatever was in my wallet plus 5,000 is what we had to work with. Can we just release this uncut? Yeah. Like it's so insane. So, this is crazy. Skylar and I are talking about it. He gave us a little bit of time to talk. Threw out a number, kind of his pie in the sky number. He's a businessman. He's been in business for 40 years, had a shop. He gets it, but he wants this stuff gone. There is risk. He's not 100% sure if anything works. He says he thinks it will. It should, but there's definite risk. Cables are kind of everywhere. It's a ton of work, but this is a ton of amazing stuff. You know, the cartridge games are pretty safe that those are gonna work. There's stuff that's safe, there's stuff that's risk. Mm -hmm. There's handheld, there's everything. And we're trying to figure out how we can make this thing happen today. I don't know. And then you look in this box and it's like, hey, there's Game Shark. It's just a random like $80 thing. But where do we even start with something like this? Look at this box. The good thing is it's not just like trading stuff. Okay, so missing this one. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that that we could just run into. You have to. You have to. Consider. Account for it. Yeah, I could break everything. I could. It's very easy for me to do that. Come on, be in there. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a massive game there. I tell you what, man, we've gotten some crazy stuff recently. And this is yeah. like, this might be even crazier. Hopefully the next thing you'll see is us making this deal happen and loading it into the van. Nope, I abandoned Chase to go inside to pee and leave him to negotiate all by himself. Come on, man. <laughs> so right as we started discussing price, he surprised me yet again. Because it is nice stuff, I could come up Past 50% and do like 5k. So, wheat in the pot, maybe. I have 50 games that are wrapped that never been out of the wrapper. Regular Nintendo. Okay. Uh, Super Nintendo 64. Problem is, they're not here. You know, I'll give you first crack at them. You know, give me 65 and get the out of here. So we were in the 6,500 range, and honestly, he seemed pretty firm. I didn't think we were gonna get it. I want you to make money. Yeah. You know, I understand the business. I know how it is. Mm -hmm. Come on, you're gonna make money. <laughs> it's all good. You're not gonna get another deal like this. Final offer, six grand. Six grand. That's it, I can't do any less than that. I don't okay, final offer, six grand. Yeah, and I'll, I'll send you a list. Find my pennies. <laughs> I'll send you a list of all the ones that are sealed. Okay. So he came down to 6,000 and I still didn't think we had enough. So we literally scrounged around every last dollar we had. Including Skyler's <laughs> money. My, my money. We drove two and a half hours. We had no idea what to expect. Things just kept getting better and better. Way better than we expected. And we almost didn't bring enough money. And we made it happen. We made it happen. Let's go. So we spent $6,000 and we hardly even got to see what we just bought. Let's see if it was even worth the buy. And a thousand. Okay. And then I've got an envelope with 5,000 and hundreds in the car. Okay. You bring the cash and I'll fill your van? Has come true. We're just getting started. We sealed the deal. $6,000 cash and we're loading up. Are we getting ourselves in over our heads? Sometimes I wonder on buys like this. We're just getting started, guys. We are just getting started. So loading everything up took quite a bit of time, like over half an hour. Yeah, but he was super thankful for us taking everything and getting it out of his hair. Great. Have a good one. Thank Appreciate you. you. Good. Make some bucks. Thank you guys. Thank you. The deal is done. We're just saying how absolutely unbelievable and how blessed. Yeah, man, God has <laughs> blessed this business My constantly goodness. does. Um, <laughs> and now that I've brought Skylar on full time for the last, what, six months? Oh, five shoot, months more than that now Seven, I, I, eight, May, I don't know. so this is my eighth month okay so yeah eighth month and it's just it's just amazing that these deals continue to happen so that mm -hmm. you know we can grow bigger together yeah um and i'm just excited for the long-term potential for skylar too like I, I know for me this business is good but mm -hmm. To be able to support two families. Yeah, that's that's the that's, that's the crazy part. Like I'm able to do this with Chase, and it's like I don't need another job. Like it's it's <laughs> it's, like it's super cool. It's amazing. It's not it's common. A dream. I realize that this is nuts. It took a long time to get to this point. Uh, years. I mean, years mm -hmm. and years and years of hard work and. Man, I'm just feeling very blessed and thankful. So we're on the ride back, we're decompressing, and our van was full, but we didn't even know what was all in there. Yeah, we had like a vague idea, but we really had no idea if we'd make any money on this deal, even after going through the work of selling off everything. Yeah. Like, we don't know what to do. 
Yeah, there's this, so much here. This. How do we show this? This just turned into like the busiest week ever. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> Unboxing everything led to surprise after surprise. It's the next morning and <laughs> we have no idea where to start with this. It's all still in the van. I don't know what to do. We buy collections like this, but there's literally everything. So it's not like we can just batch test a bunch of one thing because there is everything. I know it's dark, but I mean, look at it. You just look at it. Like, I don't know what to grab. Everything is just so, so good. Jack, what do you think of all the boxes? Is that a lot? Yeah. What's your favorite box? One, two, three of them? These ones? Yeah. You like that one? Yeah. yeah. So what I think we're gonna do is get a bunch of empty tubs and start organizing what's gonna be for Amazon, which is gonna be a lot of stuff. All right, so kind of going through all the boxes, getting them laid out slowly but surely, and this is just getting crazier and crazier. Like the bins are just so weird, like we have, some accessories for the Wii that are practically nothing. They're in. But then we find the Sega Genesis speakers that are worth like 250 bucks if they're working. Chase, just don't open this up. Like just a random... <laughs> what? <laughs> like, Pokemon Yellow with manual and a Game Boy. <laughs> like, that's just the stuff we're finding. That was All in right. an accessories <laughs> bin of garbage. That's and then there's amazing. that. <laughs> yeah, we didn't see that when we were there. That is clean. All right, so I've been going for a while and this is how everything looks. There are all the empty boxes, but so far it is just adding up really quick. All these are systems, accessories that's got a system in it. It's just so much. We still have all this. All right, this piques my interest, Chase. Is it heavy? It, yeah. Okay. Okay, we just oh, found a God. bin. <laughs> First, can, that is, is so that clean. Is? That is super clean. Number one, Nintendo Power. Oh my goodness, this is that like, is like incredible. New. Holy cow! Look at that. What? I hope it's got everything inside of it. Be careful, Johnny. Oh, oh it's, it's filled in. out. Oh, dang it! Let's so paint over there. it. Let's paint over it. Yeah, paint over it. That'll that'll fix it. That it is have super clean for poster. being written in. But like, there's a ton of them. It was just stacked between a bunch of manuals. Guidebooks. Like, or guidebooks, and These, these are, but those are amazing guidebooks across the board too. That's a nice little $300 bonus. Okay, so it's taken all day <laughs> <laughs> to get everything set up. Th this room is insane. I've counted every single game, uh -huh. at, at least to the best of my ability. I think there's some in the boxes out in the other room. There might be like yeah. 10, but we have 878 games. 878. What do you think of that? <laughs> I'm happy about that. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, once you, once we get it all spread out like this, you can really kind of tell, but it was it was hard to tell when we were there. How many systems? We got 25. Oh, no. no oh, and we have the handhelds. Well, there's probably 40 systems. Yeah, and there's some, there's like two in some of the boxes, okay. two or three in, so there's... So 40, give or take. Yeah. So, highlights. I mean, these complete in-box beautiful NES games, including Mario 3s, Battletoads, Link, um, Zelda, both Final Fantasies, Sega CD games, Sega Saturn games, good stuff there, N64 expansion pack in the box, two expansion packs out of the box, all of those Game Gear games, there's actually some decent ones in there, like three copies of Streets of Rage 2, and it continues. Over here you've got the GameCube section, which is totally filled with glory, including XD, Mario Party 7, Pikmin 2, Paper Mario, two Pokemon Coliseums, plus the bonus disc, found this Game Boy Player disc sitting at the bottom of a box, which is crazy, all of these games uh zelda's three of them smash mario sunshine like first party glory two mario party fives on the bottom and all of these gba games this is a stack of pokemon games only pokemon's about 10 deep crazy and then we've got 54 ds games most of which are complete we've got zelda we've got pokemon we've got mario multiple copies yeah, five mario karts all the way at the bottom of the left stack is two, oh yeah two good ones platinum and black right just chilling down there we've got 45 ps3 games 63 Wii games, some decent ones. 35 PS2 games in the back, plus whatever's up here. Did you count the front stacks? Yes. And then there's 88 PS1 games, including some heavy hitters like Grandia, Street Fighter Collection, a bunch of Final Fantasies, a lot of RPGs. 
77 Xbox 360 games and a few There's various like there. There's like PSP and PS4 back there too. Yeah, randomness. 101 loose NES cards here, and there are some nice ones. I mean, <laughs> we're talking just nice stuff across the board. Mario's, random stuff like Wild Gunman, Boulder Dash, Wrecking Crew, Bubble Bobble. And there's some five screws hidden in there. Five screws mixed in, you can't go wrong. Glorious N64 games. I showed you guys those all first party. And then we have four boxes of SNES games that look like this. 84 SNES games. This one has two Secret of Evermores, one Secret of Mana, two Dooms. And all of them are like that with Mario World's Donkey Kongs, all sorts of good stuff. All of these box games, amazing pieces there. The PS1, the crazy Nintendo Power number one. These are some very high dollar uh, NES games, rare ones. Rockin' Cats, Feria, I don't even know if you say that right. Lone Ranger, Power Blade, RC Pro M2 with the manual. Game & Watches, five Game Sharks, and all of these box systems. It's crazy. This was absolutely nuts. Some of these DSs are even like untouched on the inside of the box. Crazy buy for $6,000. We still have to hope that the systems will work, but we're not gonna do that in this video. Sorry for the bad camera angle. So let's get real here. There's a lot of stuff here. Yes. And there's no way that we could put this on the main video. Very frequently do we get large collections that you guys want to see more of, but it just doesn't make sense to show all in one video. And you just do so much, it's hard to be able to go into depth yes. all, all in one video. So we're gonna launch a second channel. It's gonna be called Caterpie Crew, C-A-T-R-P Crew, but it's gonna be straight value driven. It's gonna be stuff like going mm -hmm. through this collection. So yeah. if you're seeing this video, there will be a video over on that channel. We'll link the channel in the description. You can check it out. It'll be going through this collection, kind of seeing how much it's worth, how mm -hmm. we're gonna sell it, where we're gonna send everything off to, strategy mm -hmm. stuff, deep stuff. If you're really into reselling, you're probably gonna wanna go over yeah. there and check it out. If yeah. you're not, that's okay. The main videos on this channel will be the buy, the fun, the crazy. And if you want more depth, check out Canopy Crew. It's gonna be exciting. We're, we might even put just other videos. Fun stuff, or, random stuff, yeah. deep reselling just, side just stuff. Just things that we can't put in main videos. Yeah, so check that out, link in the description. Hit that like button if you made it this far. We appreciate you guys, and we will see you on the next one. Bartle do. Bartle do.